how to merge companies in HubSpot. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can merge two companies in your HubSpot account. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to log on to HubSpot and you're just going to go into your uh, basic dashboard. So once you go into your basic dashboard, you're going to click on contacts. And from here, you're going to click on companies. And you can see over here, I have these three companies. So this is uh, owned by me. And you can see one is real estate, one is animal pet shop. I really haven't gone into much detail to actually set these up, but I'm just going to show you how you can actually go ahead and merge two companies. So what you're going to do is you're just going to click on any one of these companies. And once you click on it, you're going to click on actions over here. Once you click on actions, a drop down menu will appear. So on this drop down menu, what you're going to do is you're going to click on the merge option. So it's right above delete. It's the second last option. You're going to click on merge over here. And once you click on merge, they're going to ask you what you want to merge this with. So it's going to show you in a drop down menu what the other uh, companies you have available are. So I'm going to merge Animal Pet Shop. I want Animal Pet Shop to be merged into real estate. So what you can see over here, these are a few little guidelines that they have. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to click on merge. And you can see over here, just like that, these two companies have been merged. So there are some more things that you can do with the merging options. So if I click back on companies, now let's say if you want to keep like the basic parameters of real estate, or let's say just to switch it up, let's say if I create a company called um, New Real Estate, and I'm going to click on create company. And let's say now I want all of the information uh, or all of the prerequisites to be set according to new real estate. So for that, what I'm going to do is that instead of clicking on real estate, I would click on new real estate. I would just click on preview and then you can click on actions over here and then you can click on merge and then you can select real estate the original version and now what this will do is that all of the prerequisites all of the paradigms all of the information that you have set in new real estate the information provided in basic real estate will be converted accordingly to what is present in new real estate so you can see over here that you can see uh they have also a link to all of the details of how um merging companies is going to reinforce different kind of stuff in your companies but depending on the kind of companies you have created or the financial information you have the project information you have they're going to ask you questions accordingly so you also need to keep into mind that this action is not undoable so once you merge two companies you cannot undo it so be mindful of how you are merging your companies or just leave it at one click and once you have one click you're just going to leave it like so so you can see over here that this company was created and i merged real estate so you can see over here that you have all of your team activity all of your contact so let's say i click on deals over here and i click on let me investor i click on create over here and if i click back onto my companies if i go into my company section i can create a company called um well, let's say i want to name this marketing pro and let's say it's in a different industry and i'm going to add create company and then if i go on over here and if I go into Marketing Co, I can start adding more information onto Marketing Co. So let's say I want to add some target accounts. So I'm like this. And let's say I want to add some tickets. I'm just going to add random number of tickets. So once you have like company information, and if you go back into your company section over here, and you select the company. So let's say I want to merge real estate into Marketing Co. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Actions. I'm going to click on Merge. And I'm going to select new real estate. I'm going to click on merge over here. And now both of these uh, tasks will now be added onto the one singular company. So depending on what you are merging with what, it's going to prioritize certain tasks. So HubSpot really enables you to inculcate different businesses and merge them accordingly. So you can see that the not only in your company section have this section for all companies that you are a part of, but if you click on my companies, you can take a look at the companies where you are the owner and then you can click on add view over here and you can click on create new view and then let's say this is um marketing company 
just like that you with a marketing company and you can add your own filter for this so what kind of companies need to be added onto this section as well so this will really help you in streamlining everything all together to better manage your business and better manage like different branches of your business as well now HubSpot does allow you a lot of free features, but most of their CMS features or advanced features are paid. So if you take a look at their pricing over here, you can take a look at their products and their plans. And if you click on free tools, you can see you have your basic stuff uh, on the free version and all the company features like storing data for your company and you know company details and communications. You can do all of that in your free tools section, but you can't really do marketing or sales or customer service, CMS operations on the free version for that you have to check out their marketing version or their sales version depending on what you are looking for in your business so let's say with the company name i'm running a marketing business so if i'm doing marketing as like a business if i'm providing marketing for other people they have three basic versions so they have the starter version starting at 18 dollars per month currently it is being offered at a discount price then they have the professional version starting at 800 dollars every month and then they have the enterprise version starting at 3200 dollars every month now, if you scroll down over here, you can see the different features like you have a uh, live chat, landing pages, email marketing, and on their professional version, you have omni channel marketing, dynamic personalization, social media, video hosting and management, and contact and company setting with A B testing and website traffic analysis, and a whole lot more. Now, if you take a look at the more important tools like CMS, a lot of people need CMS for almost all businesses. You get premium hosting, content delivery network. Uh, web application firewalls and custom domain security settings at only $23 every month and then on the professional version at $360 per month you have smart content and reporting password protective pages a b testing custom reporting create content attributions a ceo recommend seo recommendations content strategy google search consoles and you have content staging as well and then on the enterprise version starting at twelve hundred dollars every month you have adaptive testing single sign-ons code alert site performance monitoring activity logging and hierarchical teams content positioning additional root domains and multi-domain traffic reporting so you're going to get a lot more on the enterprise version if you need cms so CMS tools are super helpful for almost all businesses and companies, and especially if you're running your own business, then you really need to offer tools that will help you in marginalizing the profits and making the most out of your revenue. So you want to be able to increase your revenue and you want to be able to increase profits specifically with the tools that you're using. And HubSpot really does provide you with a lot of tools and a seamless business experience. Now, I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to merge your own companies on HubSpot and you're able to actually get a overall analysis of how HubSpot really works. With HubSpot, you're not only getting a simple company manager, but you can have a marketing tool, a sales tool, a customer service tool, CMS operations. So for most people and businesses, HubSpot is probably going to provide you with whatever you're looking for. And if you're looking to simply manage your company on a simple singular communication platform and management platform, then HubSpot definitely is a good choice. And if you were worried that you would not be able to inculcate different mergers into your company on HubSpot, then I definitely do think that uh, that issue has been cleared out for you. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment box down below. And if you like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you know anyone that is trying to figure out how to merge their companies on HubSpot or how to use the HubSpot platform, make sure to share this video with them as well. And I will catch you guys in the next video.